This is another sad story of a giant elephant who has become a victim of a jaw bomb, also known as jaw exploders or explosive baits, that have been set up inside a pumpkin or any other fruit in a crop field. To make his situation worse, there was an abscess formed in his leg, too. The villagers found him collapsed near the forest border and informed the nearest center of Department of Wildlife Conservation. The elephant would have been like this for days. If not seen by villagers, he would have possibly died here in a lot of pain. The officers arrived and they could see the elephant lying helplessly. It is difficult to inspect the elephant closely at the site of its collapse. To facilitate a thorough examination, villagers and officers collaborate to move the elephant to a more accessible open area. They employ ropes tied to its legs to haul it to the designated location. Closer inspection confirmed that elephant had become victim to a horrific jaw exploder. The jaw is severely injured and pus and saliva drooling from the mouth. There could be an infection developing in the elephant's mouth. With such an injury, it becomes difficult for an elephant to get the amount of food it needs for a day as he can't eat big things like he used to. There were some food particles stuck in the jaw because the elephant can't chew them properly with an impaired mouth. The officers started by cleaning the mouth by removing the food residues that are stuck in. The poor animal must have been starving as he is unable to intake the food properly. Now, the officers are washing off the injured mouth with water and saline to clear away the debris from the wound, dissolve dried blood, and remove the irritants and bacteria. Thereafter, a medication called metronidazole gel was applied on the injured area, which will help to heal the injuries. The elephant is severely weakened due to prolonged starvation. Therefore, the veterinarian decided to give saline to replenish the lost energy of the elephant. An IV line is connected to the most prominent ear vein to administer saline. To make the situation of the elephant even more miserable, it was found that there was a minor abscess developed in the elephant's leg, too. While the saline is gushing through, the officers are now preparing to treat the abscess and leg. First, they pierced the abscess with an injection needle. Then, they started draining the pus accumulated in the abscess. After proper draining of exudates, they scrape off the necrotic tissue as it is not possible for a wound to heal with necrotic tissue surrounding it. Then, scrub the dirt and pus in the surrounding area. After that, the officers carefully syringe and povidone iodine solution into the abscess. It is an antibacterial wound dressing. This will help the medicine get to everywhere in the wound and thereby bring an improvement faster.
इधर ओपन कर लिया वो लाइन में फोन करता पड़ा फिर फोन आ ही नहीं Go ahead, down. <laughs> what is that? In the meantime, the officers are preparing the medicines like antibiotics, multivitamins, anti-inflammatory drugs, painkillers, etc. These are prepared according to the body weight of the elephant and will be given through the same IV line, as it works faster than intramuscular injections. IV is the best way to deliver a dose rapidly and accurately. As the drugs enter directly into systematic circulation, without the delay associated with the absorption process, achieving its therapeutic effect faster than by any other route. The elephant still has the scraggy look. This is due to dehydration, which is elevated by the high temperature and prolonged starvation. Saline works efficiently in situations like this to rehydrate and restore the nutrient gaps and energize him with the added medicines. In addition to the medicines, the veterinarian added some dextrose to the IV line to get this job done faster. On the other side, Officers applied bluish antiseptic fly repellent spray on the leg abscess to smear the wound externally. The kind villagers worried about the condition of the elephant started erecting a temporary shade to shelter the elephant using coconut fronds, preventing him from being dehydrated from the scorching sun rays. Some antibiotics are given intramuscularly. 
because some of the drugs are not safe to be mixed together in infusions or dilutes as they could precipitate or have other reactions, etc. They got every possible action to save the life of this majestic giant. But the elephant's life right now is in danger as the jaw is severely damaged and infected. He is also suffering from an abscess in the leg. Considering his critical situation, the veterinarian decided to transport the elephant to a rehabilitation center for ongoing treatment, which involves periodic saline administration. Let's all wish this innocent elephant a speedy recovery.